But I'm going to start with this color because I'm going to, yeah. You like yellow? You silly. Now I have to, you know, going brown. <laughs> oh, gosh. Come on, yarn. I'm going to have yarn barf, too. Ooh, who wound this? I did. This is also just cotton or just uh just yarn from from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna do a little easy fast thing. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm gonna start with a slip knot. Let me see if I could get me some closer. Ooh. So I'm gonna start with that slip knot we love to do. And I'm going to do a little face panel. I'm not trying to make this thing huge because I'm not trying to keep you guys here all night. I'm trying to do a one hour live. But I'm going to chain up. I have a 11, 12. And another one for 13. So I did 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, I'm gonna skip the first chain from the hook and I'm gonna single crochet in the second and I'm gonna single crochet across. We are doing a single crochet in each. Insert. I don't know if I like this length. It's too long for me. Hold on. I'm just going to go until I feel like mm, maybe right here. Scratch everything I said. I didn't chain 13. I'm going to go back and edit this video probably to help me out later. Write up the pattern and then include the pattern in the video anyways so one two three four five six seven eight so that means i would have chained up nine and i'm going to take this out if you guys ever have the issue where you chain too much because you're doing a pattern where you have to do a length something in length you just remove the extra like this Let me take them out. What's everyone doing? No, you're good. All right, I took out the extra that I didn't want. So I want a baby sheep. I don't want like a big mama sheep. I want to like just born right out of the mama sheep type of sheep. All right, so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. And I'm just going to single crochet in each of these stitches across. It's still blurry. Hello. Little face panel. I don't know what this is going to look like, if it's going to be a sheep. I'm winging it here, guys. Freestyle Friday is scary. I like to do things I'm scared of doing because then, you know, why not, right? So I'm just going to keep doing that. So that's what I'm doing. Chaining one, turning the work, working in each of the stitches until I have a little square that I'm satisfied with. is what we're doing here. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's supposed to be eight. And I have to stab this thing. Okay. I think I'm liking this. Maybe it'll be a keychain. What do you guys think? 
this is a good size. Yeah. I don't want to make it too square. And then I'm just going to, so what is this? One, two, three, four, five rows of single crochet. And I'm just going to cut my yarn with a decent tail to like hide the ends inside of the body. And then chain up one and pull that tight. Which means I'm just going to go on to the next step of what I was doing, which is I'm going to grab my caca brown color right here. I'm going to unsleeve it, you know. All right, here we go. I'm going to start with a slip knot with this yarn so that way it's just attached. I don't have to sew it in or anything. I'm going to put that slip that knot onto my hook and I'm just going to sure. attach it into any of the stitches. Probably right here. No, nah, I should actually. I'm going to start over here to show you guys how I work on the sides of the rows because I'm going to be single crocheting around. Although I do want to do some increasing as well. So I'm probably going to do a two single crochet in the corners. Okay, so I did the two single crochet in the corner and I'm just going to go down the line to the other corner. So we did two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two into this corner stitch. Now we're going to do one, two, and three single crochet. This almost think I think this would look better as a monkey because look at the little. Anyways, I didn't ook. Ah, stab it. Right? And then we're going to do two single crochet in the corner. Go down the, I'm going to work in the, the chains instead of in the stitch up here, just to give me more of a, more of a wide area. So yeah, I'm going to work like that. One, two, three. Five. It's going to be six. And then I'm going to do two in the corner to turn. And then one, two, and three single crochet to go up the side. And it's a fluffy. So right now I'm going to need a stitch marker. How many do I have, though? How many stitches do I have? I need to write this number down. 24, 25, 26. Allegedly, 26 stitches, according to my counting. So I'm just going to stitch mark with this, yeah. with this bobby pin. Because that's what I found in front of me. So I, I'm going to do two into the two, into the next stitch. I, you can't even see this, but I'm going to work two, an increase, two single crochet. I'm going to work until I get to the other two single crochets. So I'm probably going to do about... There was six in between, and there's two on the side, because there's eight in total. So I'm working two in the corner. It was eight, subtract two. So I'm going to work two here, and then six, I believe. Let me count that. This is why. Da -da -dum -dum.
All right, let me start again. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it was eight. And then two into this corner. Nine, ten. So I have ten plus two so far. 12, and then I'm gonna probably have three going down, if my math is right. One, two, or four, three. No, it's gonna be four. So four down, that's 16. And then I'm gonna do two into the corner. trying not to pick up the bottom yarn. So I'm doing two in the corner. This yarn is very forgiving because you can't see your mistakes. You just do it and hope for the best. One, two, three, four, five, it should be six in the corner. I'm writing down my numbers as I do them. And then eight plus six is 14. Oh, that's wrong. Eight plus four is 12 plus, oh, that's actually right. <laughs> it's 14. Gotta plug in my phone, my camera. All right, yeah, so it's 14 plus that. So it's 24 stitches so far. And then I'm going to do an increase on the corner. Oh, cute luggage tag. <laughs> it does look like a luggage tag now. Or a cracker full of chocolate. Two more. 26 stitches. And then one, two three to get to the stitch marker. And I believe I'm just gonna start a decrease. It kind of room, hi Mary Webb, how are you? This is kind of the sketch I did for this. If you guys could, well, that's what I'm going for. And this is what it's looking like. Kinda, right? Almost, almost getting there. What did I do? I have to add two more stitches because I went to the corner and added two. So it's 20, 28 stitches for this round, which I would say is round two for the, and then round one was going around and adding, okay. <laughs> That sketch is like a messy. Thank you. All right, now I'm gonna, ooh, where'd my yarn go? There it is. Now I'm just gonna go around and start going. Let me see if I could zoom out. That was too far. All right, steady, steady. Thank you, Chris. So I've got the front face panel and I'm thinking I'm gonna go back from here, back like that. And then I'm gonna make like a little kind of Minecraft inspired sheep. Although I don't think Minecraft actually has brown sheep. They have, do like I know it does brown, are there brown sheep in Minecraft? I thought the they were like... The brown sheep? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't yell. The brown there sheep? There are brown sheep in Minecraft? Yes. All right, cool. Brown Thanks. sheep only spawn rare. Okay, they spawn rare. So that's why I thought they didn't Pink exist, sheep. but they exist. Pink okay. Thank you. Brown sheep exist. Wait, no. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go. I actually do have a. I had a pink yarn. I was thinking of also adding to the. The color idea, but I was like, hmm, I want to save this for something. This is really pretty and soft, and it feels like it's wool, but I don't know what this is. I bought this in a mystery bag full of yarn from the thrift store one day. Anyways, stop caressing the yarn. Um, here I go. I'm going to single crochet in each of these. It should be 26 or 28 stitches around. So I'm feeling around for stitches and I don't feel anything. So I'm just going to do it, you know, one. That's what I do with this yarn. I'm just like feeling in the dark. Honestly, I'm probably just going to crochet in the round and not even count at this point. It's a freestyle. You can do whatever you want, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Crocheting in front, singing a really bad song. How's everybody's day doing? Me crocheting in the rounds is going to make this become a big tube. So yeah, it's going to become a large, long tube. I don't know. I'm going to make a little chubby, little chubby lamb. That way it's not too, it doesn't take too long. So I got one. I'm going to mark how many I'm doing. So I have one just single crochet round how many of you guys make your own patterns i forget to say this but don't forget to like or if you're a new Comment, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, I'm I'm super okay with that too. I think I'm how many away from 200? I'm almost at 200 subscribers, believe it or not. I don't believe it. But it's exciting. I had a rough start, a rough beginning, but, you know diligence keeping yourself going is really important regardless of anything just keep going which is how i feel about this crochet thing if you love it and you it brings you joy and it doesn't hurt anyone keep going Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's my second round done, and I'm just going to keep repeating this until I have a length that is good, a length of a little baby sheepy. Mm-hmm. That's what it's looking like now. It might be a sheep. It might not be a sheep. Who knows? Because this is looking like a, a hot garbage mess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that's how I talk to myself in my head. Welcome. I think I increased on accident. I'm just trying to single crochet. Cute. Thank you. It's a fluffy. What would you guys use this yarn for? Because it's this yarn, for me, it's new. I have been seeing this in the stores until just recently. I'm glad that they're I'm glad that they're throwing out a variety of different things because I've seen 
eyelash yarn. I've seen this yarn. I've seen um, their cotton and their Chanel. This is their Chanel that they carry at Dollar Tree. Hi, Mary, and hi, Susan, and Mary and Susan. What I'm doing here is just crocheting in a freestyle way. And it might become a thing, Freestyle Fridays, because I, it takes me a long time to do a tutorial because I'm doing all the editing. Anytime I do a tutorial, I want to have the pattern available as well. So I have all of these things going on and it can be, become very hard to focus on one part of the process of doing any of this, making things. A baby chick. Ooh, I could do a baby chick with this one next time. I mean, in the video, if you guys want to leave like a request that I can make, Amigurami, Ugh, that would be cool. I mean, I can make you crackers. I can make you cinnamon swirls. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to make food. I like to make little, little Amigurami plushie dolls. <laughs> but I will have to keep the little chick idea in mind. I do have a... So here, this is... I will show both of these, but this is actually... But these are, oops, back. This is a yarn from Dollar Tree called the Just Chanel or Chenille. This cousin color, no, white. They call this one yellow. Yep, very original. And this is the mama duck and this is the baby duck, but it's not much smaller, but yeah. Speaking of chicks, that's why I showed you this. Um, I don't want to count to 100. If I make a pattern that has 100 chains, perhaps. This is like a little, a little poof ball. Little poof ball, I said, not poof ball. But yeah. Hi, Tina. Thank you. I'm going to keep going, keep going. I already have, this is my, going to be my fourth. Ooh, my hair is in there. This is my fourth round and I'm going strong, putting in those reps of single crochet. Oop, I cannot find this stitch. This is the hassle. What else would you guys make with this yarn? I'm up for the ideas. Unless the ideas, you want them to stay with you, then you could have the idea, and I'm cool with that, too. Yeah. I'm feeling around in the blind, in the dark here for these stitches. And this should be the last stitch of the round. So I have four rounds, and it's looking like a little... Bow. Little fuzzy mittens. That would be cute. That would be really cute. I'm trying to only use one ball of this. Ooh, where'd my stitch marker go? There it is. But yeah, I'm trying to use just one single skein of this. 
and stick to that idea. That way I'm not grabbing multiple. I want, This is like a $2 project if you think about it because this yarn is, they're just, a, they're a just yarn acrylic and it's a dollar. And this one is also a dollar. But yeah, I'm keeping it going. I think I'm going to do two more rounds of single crochet around. And then I'm going to start a decrease. Make it a little fluffy ball. Honestly, I think this would be really cute as like a bear hat or mittens, a teddy bear coin purse with a white belly. That's that sounds so cute. Or like a little bag, but I would have to line the bag with Dollar Tree actually carries um, fabrics now in certain Dollar Trees. I don't know if you guys have fabric in your Dollar Tree, but enough fabric to line a bag with. Crafting out of crafting on a budget. They also carry the googly eyes that I would use to, oh, my yarn is behaving badly. This is how much I got left, which is not, it's a lot, so. But yeah, Dollar Tree has fabrics, they have googly eyes, they're stepping up their game. There's gonna be a time where Dollar Tree is not gonna be Dollar Tree anymore. It's gonna do the thing that Five Below did and be like Dollar Tree and Five Below mixed together. It'll call itself Five Tree, something done oh, like that. No, it's a pretty good idea. Actually, how are we supposed to get this Freestyle Friday. Do you guys think, I don't know, I should keep this going every Friday. That'll be my scheduled live. Other than that, I won't do a live just on Fridays. Yeah. I just had to put that right there. That is the future, you guys. Be wary. Whatever happened over there is probably going to just move along the coast to us. There you go. They, they're trying it out. They already started. And how much does Family Dollar price their stuff at? I don't know how over they go from a dollar. I know they, they go around $10, maybe even more, depending on the item. And... We're never going to have dollars anymore. Dollar Tree. <laughs> Why'd they do this to us? I was starting to feel comfortable. And now they do that to us. That's like really, but that's really messed up though. I wonder if they're going to lose business because of it. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because they're a business and they got to keep it growing and moving. But what about me? <laughs> so this is going to be, this is round six that I'm on. And I'm just going to keep, it looks like a, like an abominable snowman. What does this look like? A furry television. <laughs> I probably am going to change the thumbnail. Maybe after I do this video. I'm not really sure. Maybe make me a little monster. Looks like a little monster. Hi, Lashira. How you doing? Yarny peeps. Like a little newborn hedgehog. It does look like that. <laughs> I hope once I put the little nose and stuff, it'll look more like what I was originally thinking of. 
which is what did I say it was? I don't I don't remember. No. A little sheep. A sheep. Sheep. It's already plural. Get it together. Making sure my A marshmallow peeps, marshmallow peepies, peepies, peeps. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks for reminding people to thumbs up. We got each other's back. I'm like, hey. Oh, yeah. Yarning for a smile is having a 200 follower or a 200 subscriber giveaway on her, on her channel. This is why Nightbot, Nightbot betrayed me, or I would have been like, drop your link. Worth. And now that is six. So I'm going to do a decrease round, and it's going to be so difficult to see. But we're going to do some decreasing. So I have 28. I have 28. Um, let me get my, someone divide 28. <laughs> is it Spanish hair, Hispanic heritage month? No, is it? Oh man, I'm not Hispanic enough to know this. <gasps> How dare me. 28 divides by seven in a good way. Hmm. I think I'm going to do... Okay, I'll see you in a second, Mary. I think I'm going to do a decrease every third stitch. So I'm going to, or every, yeah, every fourth stitch. So I'm going to single crochet one, two, and three. Because there's 28. No, that's wrong. I have to do two and then decrease in the fourth in the third and fourth. So I did two, or should I do six? Actually, no, scratch, scratch this idea. It's 28 divisible by four, seven times. Oh, I have almost 200 subscribers <laughs> by one. That's funny. I mean, that's the hope with this live is like, maybe someone will like it and subscribe to me and you're moving though, darning, like you're getting it. I'm excited to see where you're going to go. You're getting it, man. I'm proud of you. One. <laughs> Two, I hear my three, four, five. I'm going to do single crochet five, decrease in the sixth and seventh. That way I can get an even count of stitches if I did this correctly and didn't drop any stitches. So I'm just going to do a regular decrease, which is Y'all cannot even see my little. This is my problem. I don't have autofocus like most people. We're doing the decrease. So this is a stitch already worked in here. I'm trying to feel right there. So I'm going to skip it. Insert. Insert yarn over. Insert or pull through the three decrease. I'm gonna single crochet five and repeat that. And do that decrease after the fifth. Insert, insert. 
single crochet five. This is the fifth one, and then do that decrease. Yeah, I see this yarn, and I think the brown looks like a little monkey, a bear, or a pillow. That's five, and the decrease. Decrease? Don't mind me. I'm from Chicago. Two, three, four, five. Dude, I screwed up. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's peanut butter jelly All right. So that's decreasing. What did I say before? We did five and then we decreased because it was 28, allegedly. We don't know. She had it coming. Boom, boom. She had it coming. Boom, boom. All right. So now I'm going to do four single crochets and then I'm going to decrease. So I keep it moving slowly. I guess I'm going to do an oval instead. Did I just do four? Oh, no. One, two, that was three. One, two, three, four. Decrease. We're going to do four. I don't understand why people are blocked because if tanks in here and it says passion for yarn is in here, like I can't see their faces or their, I can't see their typing. Sorry, I got a little, oh, got a little mad there. Cause like, I don't see tank typing in chat at all. And it says that it says passion for yarn right there. I don't see her either. I'll figure this out though. Um gonna be doing a decrease because I, I single crochet four. And then I'm gonna do a decrease. One two three. Four and a decrease. Four and a decrease. Four and a decrease. Why is it not going in there? Okay, that's the wrong stitch. I chose the worst yarn to work in, but it's okay. Three. Four and a decrease. This isn't going to match up. Everything's all wonky and like it is what it is with this type of yarn. As long as I have a shape, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. Thank you. So right here. So I did four, and now I'm going to do three and do a decrease. And that's usually how it works with amigurami. You're going to want to, depending on the shape you're trying to accomplish, make a slight decrease. Works well. I have no idea, and I've tried to figure this out because I don't have anyone blocked on my channel or silenced, so I don't understand how that would, you know, work. Because literally, why would I block tank? She gave me happy mail. 
Not that that's a reason to not block someone, but she sent me happy mail. I have a whole video with a happy mail that she sent me. Muting really. I can see when Tank types into like a regular video of mine, I can see her typing or I can see her responses. But when I'm live, I can't see anything she's writing. I had the same problem the last time I checked my um I checked my block list and I didn't have anyone in my block list. So what was I doing? Did I do three and now I'm gonna do two? I'm gonna try to finish this faster. Cause yeah, you came in Google can block people on your YouTube channel. So is that through Google in my actual? So I have one, two, and then a decrease. Is that through Google on my actual Gmail account that I should check? Honestly, we should take this offline to talk about this, but I don't know. It might be like YouTube trying to... Because I've seen my subscription count was 200 last night, and it went down like four subscribers. It keeps going up and down, fluctuating. It's very weird. It takes people out that are spammers, maybe. Hold on. Two. Hi, Ashley. How you doing? How was your kid kiddos, your son's game? I hope no one got injured, you know? Yeah, Google is being really, really weird. Google is YouTube, so that's why I say that it's like, that doesn't, like, make sense. No one's blocked on my channel. So I don't understand why. So I just did two and then decreased. I just don't understand what's going on. Because I, yeah, I'm just going to fill that with a single crochet because I miscounted and that's okay. Because this yarn is garbage and not garbage. So I'm going to start stuffing. Oops, I need to figure out which is zoom in and which is zoomed out. I'm going to start fluffing my yarn. And I'm going to start putting it in there. Putting it in. <laughs> Where the night wind meets the breeze, there's a massaging the floof. I hate sticking on massage floof. It makes it, you know, it gives the little amigurami back issues and pain. And they look all weird because they're all, ugh, I'm uncomfortable. You know, how when your back hurts as you get older, like us, and like, yeah. But that happened. And let's just put it in there. Just stuff it right in there. keep my hand here so I could kind of flatten it as I do it and shape it because amigurami is shapely. Boom. boom. Huh? 15, 14 people in my life. Hello, 14 people. No, fluffy yarn. Fluff the yarn. Fluff the fluff fluff. I meant fluff fluff. All right, I'm just poke, poke, poking. I don't know what I'm making. It's probably going to be a sheep, but it it's looking like this. And hi, Rosie. How you doing? How you doing? We're missing thumbs. Oh, how could you guys do this? 
Yeah, no one wants clumpy, flumply, floopy floops. We want our floof to be on par. Floofy. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I think that's good. It's so soft and squishy. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> yeah, hit the thumbs up or yarning will come for you. That's so funny. Like I said, you guys, yarning for a smile is having a giveaway because she hit 200 plus people on her subscribers. So she's giving away some patterns, right? Elbow cough. <laughs> that's what the elbow, that's what that emoji is. It's an elbow cough. It's like a dab. <laughs> All right. I said I was doing, okay, now I'm going to keep decreasing. I'm going to work one single crochet and then a decrease in each of these in each of these stitches around. So I'm going to like maybe this is my little stress ball. A little stress. Skip that. Hold on. I'm nearing the end of this almost. What was I doing? Did I decrease? Can you guys tell me if I did a decrease by rewinding the video for five seconds? No, it doesn't feel like I did. One single crochet and a decrease. Repeat it. Repeat this around. And I'm not doing counting because I threw that out the window, honestly. Not happening. And it is what it is. You can't count on me. No. So yeah, she's um doing a giveaway. If you want to like type the details, I could put it like that. $10 of rivalry pattern downloads winner's choice. So if you guys so it's any any rivalry, I can't say that. Ra rivalry pattern of their choice. Or where am I here? I can talk in crochet, I swear. One single crochet, decrease. One single crochet, a decrease. Oh man, I got the right amount at the end of this round. How did that happen? I must have messed up so severely. No. Nah. It's gonna have a little butt right here. So yeah. Hold on. Ten dollars patterns for you guys. So now I'm gonna just do a full on decrease of <laughs> we you know something about many things though. So I'm going to do a decrease in each of the stitches around. And that's going to close out the back part of this little guy or girl. I haven't decided. Name her Fiona. Yeah, it's a girl. It's a little ball of love. Ah. I chose this yarn all difficult, but it looks so cute. You know, like I had to. There you are. Decrease, decrease. To stop telling my secrets. I will tell none of your secrets. No secrets will be told. Um, I'm gonna need a yarn sewing needle to sew this closed. So this is the end 
of this part of the pattern. I'm gonna cut that, do a little chain one to secure it. Take out that little stitch marker. And then I'm gonna sew it immediately, which I never do. I always leave the sewing until like I'm forced to do it. Go in, come. Stop making me look bad, hands. All right, I'm just gonna sew it closed. It's fluffed enough. You wanna make sure your fluff is as fluffy as you want it fluffed. Ah, oh, this would be a good stress ball. <laughs> oh, mom, I... Let me sew in the tops and the top of the back of it, just like this. So one of the things I've noticed about this yarn with other people talking about this yarn is you want, if you're doing something like this, you want to pull it slowly because it will snap on you. This yarn is super brittle. So you want to make sure you don't snap your yarn because that would be bad. Not a good thing, a bad thing. A stress sheep. We're just ordinary sheeple doing sheep things, following people and stuff. So I got into the end of this little hole. I think it's all secure. I'm just gonna probably, yeah, I'm gonna do a little knot so it doesn't come out. With this yarn, it's really nice because you can't really see these little knots. I'm just going to insert it into the sheep butt and poke it. <laughs> There's a lot of weird stuff happening here. So, yeah. Hidden users versus block users. Okay, thank you. I'm going to check that out. I don't... Yeah, because I've never blocked anybody that I know of, so I'm just stabbing the poor little sheep, and I'm going to put this in there and use it as extra fluffing, because, man, this fluff stuff, it, this polyfill is expensive, expensive. yarning kim do you know if a hidden user would be able to comment on like because okay she can comment on my videos but i can't even see her in the chat do you guys see her in the chat i, I can't even see her in the chat and then i just cut it like that. It's just a baby ball. It needs life. It needs something more. Like ears right here. I'm going to do little ears. So I'm going to go back to this original. Ooh, I have all this yarn barf everywhere. Where's yarn barf when you need her? <laughs> So she could say what. So I'm going to just do a little ear. This is probably going to be the little simple amigurami because I'm not going to work with like a magic ring or anything like that.
This whole time I thought I was talking. You got off work, Juanita, is what I was like. I hope that's what you said. So I just did an ear and I'm gonna go like that with it to make it a little, little sheepy ear. So I could hear it's a little master calling it from across the way, like, come in, come on, man. Come into the into the pasture. I don't know what people who do that. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, I was talking and you couldn't hear anything. So, so funny. What I was saying was, what I had said was, I'm going to chain up four. I was, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I do that, you know, this whole time talking to myself. Thank goodness you're off work. Ugh. <laughs> so I'm chaining four is what I had said. And I'm going to work into the first, I'm going to work in, I'm going to skip the chain closest to the hook. I'm going to work into the next two. Just single crochet into the next two. <laughs> and then I'm going to put four into the last chain. Four single crochets in the last chain. I'm just kind of giggling in my head right now. Like, really? I sure did mute myself. That's four, and then I'm going to work into the last two. Right about here, right about here. That's an ear for me. I'm gonna chain up one to secure it, and I'm gonna cut the yarn off right there with my little Walmart scissors. These were $4.58, I think. And they cut so well. Oh man, I've never had scissors actually cut something before. Not by, you know, how you have to like stretch something out sometimes and then cut it, you know what I mean? Like it's so annoying. But yeah, these are these two little ears and then I'm gonna go like this with it. Like fold it so it, you can hear. I'm gonna just, where should I place them? Here, oh yeah, I'm totally placing them here. Watch this become a monster. It's not even a little sheep, it's a little monster. It's a little fluffy monster. All right, where did my sewing, okay, here it is. So I'm going to sew these on. Who else hates sewing? Show of hands. Me. It's the worst part of anything. So I think I'm going to, this is the yarn I just cut off that I was working with. I'm going to put that yarn on my needle and just go to the other side of the ear to shape it and pull it give it a little shape a little natural you <laughs> and i think about placement because this is a little chubby one i'm probably gonna go right now that's too low let me fix the camera so you guys can see the actual thing i'm doing that would be nice I'm gonna do the same thing I just did on this side. That way they look even when I try to place them. Shapely, you, ugh. Let me just sew this in, because this is bothering me, the little tail. I guess we have to do the prep here. Just bringing it down. I don't even want this little tail. I'm just going to cut it. Get that out of here. 
this is basically the process I go through when I'm making stuff. I talk to myself. No, no, I don't. I'm gonna hide this end in the ear, in the inner ear. I really don't. There. Now it's out of the way and it's not bothering me anymore. All right, let's see where we should place these little ears. All right, so you can't go too low and you can't go too high. Maybe here. Too close, too far. I kind of like right here. It's looking like a little monkey. <laughs> no. Or if I go up here, maybe right here. Actually, this is always the hard part. Let me put some eyes to just hold the spot for me. Hold the fort down. I'm going to do green. It's totally going to stretch it. Or should I just show you with the googlies? Ah, uh, that's scary. I'm gonna grab some googly eyes. I'm not gonna glue them just right now. Take this tag out of here. I don't know why you're there. Whoa, what the heck? Hopefully that's not a pew. No, I'm just kidding. That happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are like, we are crazy. Now you guys know. Should I do... Nope, this is definitely a monster. Should I do one big eye and one little eye? That just makes it like a monster looking sheep. Should I do, oh man, are you okay? You're really excited? Normal, normal sheep. <laughs> Eyes closed together sheep. Bug eyed sheep. This one's like the side eye sheep. <laughs> or everything is going to be okay, sheep. I'm liking these. Yeah, I'm going to do a little pink nose. I have to grab the little yarn for it, though wherever the yarn may be. I need a really toned down pink for the little nose. Off to the side. You wronged me, sheep. Drunken sheep. This is drunken sheep. Now I have to put this for 18 plus. <laughs> I mean, we did talk about some things here, so. <laughs> oh, man. I can't with these eyes. I can't. I got these from Dollar Tree, too. What is this? A Dollar Tree? <laughs> A Dollar Tree video? But thanks to Shira. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Excuse me? But yeah, so um, I'm going to sew the ears in. I got a little sidetracked. Playing around with eyeballs. 
sponsored by one thousand sponsored by one thousand dollar tree tm trademark this video is not sponsored by dollar tree i'm putting the ear right here this is perfect perfect placement product placement I mean, I buy enough Dollar Tree yarn. They should sponsor someone in this place. Everyone and their mama has Dollar Tree yarn haul videos because it's awesome. I'm not. I'm not against Dollar Tree yarn. It's Premier Yarn. Premier Yarn's a decent brand of yarn. Do -do -do. People love Dollar Tree. What do you think? I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. Ugh, I kind of want this little ear down more. Let's do. I'm not always indecisive, but when I see something that's off, I'm like, I have to fix it. I have a bit of an OCD issue with my amigurami. It has to be straight. Or what if I did right here? Oh, why is it looking like that? Let's try right here. This is hard, guys. Definitely not my comfort zone doing a like live freestyle. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. I'm just going in and out of the ear. No rhyme, no reason. Because this yarn is forgivable. This yarn is like how God doesn't keep tally of our wrongs when, we, when we're in Christ. That's what this yarn reminds me of. That was a little too deep. <laughs> What's wrong with me? All right. So... That being said, I'm just gonna go into the face. I'm just going in and out of this yarn to hide the tail. Let's do that. All right, where did my um, scissors go? Um, excuse me. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. There it is. Oh, hold on. Let me tell them. Okay, get in there, into the pore, into the hair follicle. I'm not trying to cut. Hmm. It could either go this way or this way. I'm doing the little ear on the top. Where'd my other ear go? Okay, here it is. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. Can you see my message? I can see your message. Why would you do? Did you hide yourself? Are you hiding from me? I see you, Kim. I'm going to put this one right, right there. You're trying to figure this out for me while I'm here. That I appreciate that. Cause, so we're going to line it up with this. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to hope. Ears are fun because, you know, they move around the head and they're never really always in the same spot, but they are symmetrical for the most part. But it's getting deep now. What's getting deep? What's getting deep? Is it my voice? Hello. Hello, YouTube land. This is Crystal and you're watching... Me be weird on Hook That Yarn TV. <laughs> it's a sheep. Oh, you got a deep because it's a sheep. Oh, I got you. I had to read it one more time, but I understand what you're saying. It's a deep, deep in the sheep. It's a little sheepy. A little sheepy, weepy. 
Hello, Lillian. I'm actually doing this video for you because you asked me about your yarn yesterday. So I'm making a sheep. This is the little sheep. Little baby sheep. I'm making its ears like this more because sheep ears are more like pointy than they are round, right? Who's seen a sheep? Juanita, you know what sheep look like because you have so much fiber and beautiful yarn made from these guys or girls. Guys. Language. How does it work? Yeah, now I'm going to cut that. We're almost to the finish line. I just need, I think I need feet. I think in, I need feet. And I need the glue gun. Maybe one of these people that love me can bring me the glue gun so I don't have to stand up and move. Let me ask them. Blue gun, please. No one. <laughs> no one loves me. Yes. It's not hot because it's not plugged in yet. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. So this is what it's looking like right now. I don't like this. I'm gonna fluff this up and probably stab it a little just to hide that. Thank you for the glue gun. Can you plug it in for me? Technical difficulties. We'll be right back. I have to put my we'll be right back thing. Yeah, I'll be right back. I am back. I am back. Okay, now, hold on, let me fix that. <coughs> Excuse me. I plugged in my hot glue gun, and I'm letting it heat up. 
and that's we will see all right so while it's heating up i'm gonna make two little feet or arms should i do arms or feet I'm thinking 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 uh there's so much yarn around me I don't know where the tail end begins, where it ends. There's just yarn barf around me. Look at this. Look at this hot mess right here. <laughs> wow. What's for dinner, everybody? This is a good question. I'm going to put that right there while I situate myself. Okay, there's the tail end. That's nice. Okay. Now, where did my, oh no, I lost my thing that I, ow, ow. I lost my little face. Where did it go? How did this happen? Y'all, I can't find my amigurami. This is a mess. Oh, I was sitting on it. I was sitting on it. It's okay. I was sitting on it, yo. This will not be going up to my website. <laughs> wow. Fail. Look at how smashed it is now because I was sitting. Arms. We need arms or little feet. Or it could just be a little sheep like this. Mmm, spaghetti. That's amazing. I'm still looking for a pink, but I don't have any pink. Maybe I'll do like a little rosy cheek with a palette of i mean i have pink right here let's see is it clean enough i think i'm gonna do like a little pink cheek going like that that way it's not a super like contrasting color we're working it. We're working it out. Oh no, my hot glue attacked my shawl. Cubby, you told me not to bring the hot glue then out. I'm starting to think you were right. No. I dropped it. All right, so. I'm I'm really feeling some spaghetti too, but we're gonna have some rice later. So here's it the you you know. So what eyes did we settle on? Because we have several choices. We could do this classic. Classic far spread apart is not going to work for me. We could do these. We could do these little guys that I'm about to put on right now. Let me see. That one's too big. Hmm. Hmm. Do, do. I could do these medium, these like the medium size. Barf guts. <laughs> the smaller ones. Right there. And or I was thinking we could do like a surprise. I'm thinking these. Cause it's the more the most it's just funny. 
What do you guys think? Or nah, that's too. It's too much. Too much. Well, I'm gonna do these guys right there. This one's all bent. I'm gonna use one that aren't bent. Dollar Tree eyeballs. They have all of this in the craft area of Dollar Tree. I need to take this off camera to glue it on. Or, eh, I don't have enough. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Uh, eh, eh. Oh, God, it's going to burn me. I kind of got burnt. All right, that's not going to work for me. That's right there. I'm going to cut the little piece of... All right, I did glue it. Yeah, I put two different... Uh, I put two different eyes just so that it looked all like... Oh, no. I'm about to say the googly eye froze upward. Yeah, I put two different little eyes so that it would look it would look funny. Yeah, I'm not trying to burn myself, but it happens. All right, right there, little little dots. Okay. I got it. I don't use hot glue often. Like I said, I got a hot glue gun star right here. You know, crafting is dangerous. So dangerous. All right, and now I need to unplug this, but I'm not going to unplug it right now because then I would have to leave again and... <clears throat> retention can't handle that. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to use this palette. Where'd it go? Ooh. So this is like a pink color. It just makes my hand look like I just dirtied it. It's a pink color. You can't tell it's pink, but it is. I'm just going to wing it. Let me zoom in. That's not in. That's out. Right? I could put that really strong E6000 glue. That would be crazy. Of course, my mom takes a, a speakerphone call. Louise. Let's see. I'm just giving this little sheep some blush, I guess. It's been through some things. I think I'm going to embroider a little mouth on it because that looks kind of crazy. Did I just ruin this? Maybe. Hmm. I get some black yarn and do a little embroidery for the mouth. Let me get. I'm just gonna take a little bit of black yarn, and I lost my scissors again. Oh no, they're right. Wait. I need to get it together. I seem to have misplaced my scissors again. Where could they be? How do I not have extra scissors?
okay. Here I am. I found extra scissors, and I will find those later. I got some black yarn. I think I'm going to do like a little V U mouth. So I'm going to come in through the bottom right here, right here. All right, so I'm coming from down here and I'm gonna be going up. Hi, Sela, how are you doing? Right there. I put, yeah, so I'm gonna do a little V. So I'm gonna go in, where no, actually. Let me start from the top. I'm going to start on this side. Wait, you can't even see what I'm doing. Hold on. So I'm going to start from this side to do the little B. I'm going to go in like that. Go to the other side. I think I'm going to go right here because it's even. Let me check. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in between this, the V of this stitch, and then out the bottom. Oh, I went backwards. That's okay. And I'm gonna go up. Like that. And then I'm gonna, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, live videos. Let me try that again. So I want to do a little V. I'm going to start where I was going to start. I'm going to come up like this because I want to do a nose. Yeah, I'm just going to do it and not say what I'm doing. That way I could figure out what I'm doing while I do it. I might even just scratch that whole thing all together. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know. It looks like a lion. What if this becomes a lion? Mm. Let me cut this. I'm not liking this at all. Oop, let me take your comment. <laughs> Benicula. Have you ever seen Benicula, that bunny rabbit? I dropped my sewing needle. So it's gone. It's gone where my, give me a second. <laughs> I had another one. I'm thinking I'll just use this pink to make the little nose instead of that black because it's too harsh. This pink right here. Right 
right there. Although this pink is really bright. Hmm. We'll see what it looks like. All right, I'm struggling here to make a nose that I like. Oh, these eyes, these eyes are holding on pretty well. Yeah, I'm going to do the thing I did with the thing. Yep. Going across <clears throat> like that, and then I'm going to go down. Probably one. I'm too high. So I'm going to go down one, go back in, and come back out. Struggling. It is overpowering. And this pink is a little overpowering too. But hold on. I actually see a pink in front of me that I kind of like better than all of these pinks. I'm very indecisive right now, apparently. Yeah, I just found a pink that's better. Let me cut it. Right there. Right there. Pink. This pink is perfect. It's so light. The colors, they matter. Hi. Okay. Right there. I'm going to go in, down, and under, and then pull it through right here. You can see what I just did. This is my last attempt, I swear. Yeah, this pink's way better. It's <laughs> less intense. So I'm going to go around into a stitch that I feel is smaller. So probably right there. And that's like one stitch. And I'm going to go down one. Let's see here. I wish I had this thinner, my thinner needle. But I don't, alas, right there. I'm going to go up, under, and then do it down, go down. This is going to be interesting. Probably right here. And then pull it out. It's a little you. Little you knows. Looks like a little smile. <laughs> this is what's happening. You know, the sheep has a little you. Right there. Mm -hmm. Probably go back in. This is not working out very well. Where are my thin needles? Ah. I would consider this thinner. Ah, sh the, the, the glue gun burned me. I am on StreamYard. I I shouldn't have did that. Take this out. This is the trial and error you, do, you guys don't see behind the scenes where I'm trying to figure out my life and I'm making things and trying to figure out the best way to do it. So yeah, I'm going to go down and under, and that way I can get it more smoother you. Probably go in between and break. Mm -hmm. 
The what? Under the duck head, it's streamyard. What's that name? What does that mean? What does that mean? This is my seventh attempt. With a thinner sewing needle works better though. Yeah, I think this is it. It's raining here again for the third day in a row. What's being taken care of? Puppy crochet. Did you say Tank cannot get in or not comment? Or was she here but Crystal couldn't? I couldn't see anything she was writing in here. I did. Yeah, I, I answered him. I'm on StreamYard. Yeah, I'm on StreamYard. It says it in the top right corner, I think. But yeah, um, so like I can't see anything that she's typing here but off of a live video and she, when she um writes i can see that so i don't know what's up so i'm gonna do that this is like we're freestyling right so i'm gonna just do a little tea because i'm totally over trying to do the other thing i was trying to do I'm not trying to. We can't see Tank on here, but Crystal will take care of that after the live. Yeah, I'll take care of it after the live. I tried to check my things. I just don't understand what's going on. I have to figure out <clears throat> because it doesn't make sense, basically. What I'm trying to say is like I haven't blocked anyone, so it doesn't make sense that we can't see anything she's writing. I'm trying to be calm about this because like I don't know what's going on. So I'm just gonna do that. It's a little nose. Oh. Little, little nose, little baby nose. Where's, where's my focus? There's my focus. Little nose, <clears throat> and I have to hide the ends inside of his brains. Me. Uh oh, I did not want to do what I just did. Because this needle is, this needle is great for getting into the tight spaces when you're sewing, but it does split things. So I need to get my other one. Yeah, I'll take care of it after. I need to figure out what's going on. Maybe I'll do another live where I see if she can type or not. Because I can't really do it right now. I mean, I could, but I would be interrupting everything I'm doing. If you catch my drift. So, yeah, I'm trying to hide this little tail. Actually, scratch that. I want to hide the tail so that it doesn't unravel. And this is a trick I use most of the time instead of going back into the body i'll go into the same stitch that the other side of the tail is on so i can hide it better and then 
I don't have to worry about it coming undone because it's knotted. So I'm going to knot it. Hide it. Pokey pokey. Wait, no, no, he's going inside. Is it? It's it's a hot little, hot little sheepy. Make sure you have a sword. Thank you, Cuppy. Let me just hide the tails. And then I can I don't know if I'm gonna do a little I don't know if I'm gonna do like the I think I'm gonna end it like as it is. Cause like I have the eyeballs, it vaguely resembles a sheep. It looks more like a mouse. Who knows? I don't know. All I know is I tried. You know, it looks like a monster. It's a mystery. Oh no! I have all of this glue just like running down do this to myself why here's i think this is it y'all it's a gremlin what would you call this is this a sheep it's gizmo bah it's unfocused it's surprised and it's worried this is a worried sheep should i put a little poofy tail it's my stress ball sheep when people make me upset, I'm just going to squish my sheep. Ah, did the eyes come out? Did I just break the eyes? No. They're kind of hitting each other. But yeah, this is what I got, guys. I'm ending it here because I hit the exact two-hour two, two hour mark. But hubba, 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 hubba. It's a sheep. Do not add water. Do not add water. He looks like Bigfoot. What do you call this, you guys? What would you call this? A mess. I'll take better pictures of it and probably change my thumbnail. But here we are. This is what I made. Why you gotta do my little my little fat sheep sheep like this? Why you gotta come at my sheep? I think it looks like a sheep, okay? It's so cute. It's gonna go behind me in my wall. Right behind me. Staring into your souls. Staring into your soul. But yeah, here it is. This is the little ball of sheep, my stress ball. And thank you guys. I'm gonna turn my camera. Thanks for oh, hello. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like and subscribe. Bah. We. Oui. All right, bye. Good, goodbye. I'll see you guys around, and I will see you guys around. Thank you. I tried. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Ooh, it's not working with this background. Bye bye now. Say bye. Bye with your ears. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hopefully, I don't know. I write the pattern down or something, and you guys could check it out on my website for free. And maybe I'll put this guy up there.
or it's mine forever. Right, bye guys. Ending broadcast.